Okay, Sam, so we have the carburetor arm here. It's matching the position um, that your carburetor arm is in right now. And if you look, it's in against the full throttle stop. So the first thing that you want to do is to uh, make a mark here with the Sharpie so you know where you started from and get both pieces there, okay? You see that, both pieces. Okay, so the next thing you'll do, and you, as you're taking this nut off, this is a freshly overhauled carburetor, and behind the second piece, there's um, some washers and a spring. So you're gonna have a lot, little bit of spring pressure trying to pop that off. You're not gonna take this fully apart, only the pieces that we're gonna demonstrate right now. So uh, we're gonna remove the nut first. It's an 11 millimeter, I think, yep. Okay, and so if you can see, he's holding his finger, holding that, bo the bottom piece against the full throttle stop the whole time we're making this adjustment. So then go ahead on the next part. Lifting that lock pin off. And then you're going to turn because you want to be to the left of where you, you were. So you're actually turning the upper arm counterclockwise about two millimeters. And you'll see it lines up with another hole. And you're going to push that down. And then you actually have a washer between here and the castellated nut. And then you're going to put that castellated nut on. Um, before you put that castellated nut on, double check the size of the hole for the cotter pin so you don't have to, to redo that. You're set up with the cotter pin. And the whole time he's holding the, his finger, that second bottom piece, against the stop. Okay. There you go, and you're going to line up the cotter pin hole. But if you look, you can see that, I get my finger in here somewhere, that mark right there is just slightly off for that adjustment, okay? And that's where you'll be. And, uh, that's against that. All right. So there you go. Thank you. Bye.